Greetings people. Like all musicians, we here at Broken Drum Records would really like to have more people listening to our music, to Secret Archives of the Vatican and to A Thousand Yard Prayer. And we've been watching a lot of videos on YouTube about how to build fans, how to get more streams and more listens, etc, etc. But in order to reach people and build relationship with people who might become fans, we need to know who listens to our music and what else they like, what they like about our music, what kind of background are they. We have some evidence of who likes our music. There are people we get into conversations with on Facebook and who follow us there. There are people who follow our posts on Instagram and leave comments, so we get some idea of who they are and their backgrounds. Spotify actually gives you fairly detailed demographic data. So there's various things that we know about the kind of people who like our music. We know that for both Secret Archives of the Vatican and Thousand Yard Prayer, about a third of our listeners or just under are female, but the majority are male. And of course there are a few who don't specify or who tag themselves as non-binary. We know what countries people are in who listen to our music. The biggest ones are the United States of America, Germany, the UK, Mexico, France and Canada. For Thousand Yard Prayer, there's also Spain, Brazil and Chile. There's a small group of about 10 quite dedicated listeners in Santiago in Chile. I don't know how that came about, but that kind of thing fascinates me. I strongly suspect that a lot of people who listen to our music are probably a bit like us. I'm 59, my musical partner Louis is 10 years younger than me. We both grew up with rock music of various kinds, me more kind of prog rock, Louis a bit more at the heavy rock end of things. And in the first half of the 90s both of us discovered electronica and various forms of dance music. And at that point there was a very anti-guitar vibe in electronic music. Nobody used guitars, that was the old world. So we kind of dropped our guitar music background. So some early Secret Archives tracks have got guitar in them, but we haven't used a lot of guitar over the years. More recently though, when we've been thinking about who our fans are, our fans are actually probably quite similar to us in a lot of ways. When I sit back and think about it objectively, I'm not into a single genre of music, nor is my musical partner Louis. When we were growing up, things were very tribal. You were into heavy metal, or you were into soul music, or come the 80s you were into hip hop, or whatever other fashion came around. And you were kind of defined by it. Your friends were all into the same thing and you dressed according to the fashions of, of that tribe. But the harsh reality is, that's a pretty daft way of looking at things. And most people, as they get older, are a bit more honest with themselves and they acknowledge that actually they like a whole range of music. So I can think back to people I knew back then who were full on metalheads, but back home they were listening to some cheesy dance music and probably ABBA and crap like that. So thinking about the people that we know who follow our music, quite a few of them are people who started listening to music during the early part of the rave scene, but they've got to the age where they're not really going out clubbing anymore but they like to listen to music at home or walking about. So they like their electronic, but it doesn't have to be banging four on the floor, techno or trance. They're open to more eclectic influences. There's also quite a few people who are like us, who, who grew up with guitar based music with rock and pop, and then later on discovered electronica and all its many sub genres. I think the kind of people that you see at festivals are probably our audience. There's a little bit of hippiness there, but there's also quite a bit of punk background or post-punk. It would be great if you would tell us a little bit about yourself, why it is you listen to our music, what aspects of our music you like. Tell us what else you like. Is it progressive rock? What aspects of that do you like? Is it classic rave music? What is it about that that you like? Is it dub or side dub? If you like that, why do you like what we do? What can we do in our next batch of recording that will make our music of even greater interest to you. We want to hear from you. So 
so please leave some comments below this video. We are really interested in hearing what you have to say. Thank you very much.